the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. Another interesting day in the summer leading up to the college football season of 2022, <laughs> and yet another story out of Oklahoma. Um, seems like I've been doing a lot of Oklahoma videos this year. I've even been, been accused of becoming an Oklahoma fan by a few folks. But today I saw an article that basically stated that Kel Gundy's daughter had a few choice words for Brent Venables and how he handled the situation. Let's talk about it. Here we go again on our own, like the old white snake song. This is the OCF, that's me, JPC, that stands for the Outlaw of College Football, and Jesse Paul Clark on Facebook, as well as a Twitter channel that's at OCF Productions. That's at OCF Productions. Check those out. Holler at me on there. But I just want to jump in here real quick today. To talk about Kel Gundy's daughter. Seems like she's had a few choice words for this whole situation. Now, the tweet has since been deleted on Twitter. Don't you just love how famous people or famous people's relatives and friends will make some kind of tweet that's their actual feelings and then it gets deleted? Like nobody's going to see it. I think they do that deliberately. So they can say, well, I walked it back, I deleted it. <laughs> you can't delete it. Once you put it out there, it don't have to be up but maybe five to ten seconds. If somebody sees it, they're going to screenshot it. When someone screenshots it, guess what? It's out there forever. So you might as well not even go back and delete it. And it makes no sense to delete something that you know is already out there. And you can't walk it back. And Kel Gundy's daughter did something that she can't walk back. Now, whether she's in the right or wrong remains to be seen. I'm sort of torn on this because I like Brent Venables ever since he was hired at Oklahoma. I've been impressed with how he's handled things, how his recruiting has been going. It's been mostly positive this entire offseason for the Oklahoma Sooners. And then this shit has to happen. Just a negative Nancy tool right in the, the old spokes there. <laughs> well, anyway, Kel Gundy's daughter basically said that there's more to this than meets the eye. That there's more stuff that's going to come to fruition very soon that's going to let people know that Brent Venables and Bob Stoops, to a certain degree, were telling players for the University of Oklahoma to keep everything hush-hush and not to really talk about what really happened. And from what I'm understanding from my sources, he read a tweet, or not a tweet, he read a song lyric out loud that was on a player's iPad. And the rumor has it that the iPad belonged to the player by the name of Drake Stoops. <clears throat> Now, it may just be a rumor, but that's what the sources are telling me. And <laughs> if it was Drake Stoops and it was asked to be covered up, we know why that was. And we may not want to touch it or broach that subject because they're, it might be our favorite team. Just like I don't like talking bad about my team, but sometimes you just have to talk about it. Now, if for some reason this was covered up because... Drake Stoops is the son of Bob Stoops, well then, um, I have an issue with that. Because you're going to let a man <clears throat> that's been working for your university for 30 years, and whether that's continuous or not, I'm not sure. I didn't look it up, but I have numerous stats and art 
article seen that Kel Gundy has given 30 years of his life to the University of Oklahoma, and for him to take the fall completely for something like this, for Drake Stoops or whomever it was, it may not even be Drake Stoops. Like I said, it might have just been a rumor. It's not right. I don't care. And my friend uh, Justin Walker on Cousins Corner walked his back the other day and basically said that, you know, he changed his stance on it because it was revealed that maybe Kel Gundy read whatever word it was more than just once. And my response and rebuttal to that is, why does it matter? Still, once again, he's reading something that someone else has on their iPad or something that someone else has wrote, and he's just reading it verbatim to show what's being said. He's not saying it himself. It's not his words. It's not what he thinks. It's not what he wants to direct to anybody in general. It's just him simply reading something that someone else said and him putting it out there so people know what's being said and what a player's looking at when he should be watching the film session. And I'm thinking to myself, what player would have the balls to do that? To just start watching his iPad or doing something on his iPad. And we all know that famous people's kids tend to think that they have a pass and they can do what they want to do. And I hope Drake's Drake Stoops is not like that, and I hope this ain't Drake Stoops in this situation. But the way it's looking, the way it's pointed, it looks that way. And I just don't appreciate Bob Stoops or Brent Venables or anybody, Joe Castiglione, whatever his name is, AD for, for Oklahoma, asking players to hush-hush and not give their – thoughts or real opinions on the matter and, and, and uh, not really say what they think happened. I think that you just need to let it out there and let it, let it, let it grow the legs that it's meant to grow and it'll eventually blow over. But if you try to cover it up, man, you just make it worse. Cause once you start trying to cover things up, people think you're really doing something shady and you may not even be in doing nothing that shady. You may be just saying, Hey, let's just, let's keep this quiet. Keep this in-house. That's probably what their intention is. Brent Venables and Bob Stoops probably have good intentions. Let's keep this in-house. Kale is going to take the fall for it. But we need to really try to let this thing just die down and go away for the betterment of the program in the long-term big picture. And I think that's probably what took place. But sometimes good intentions can be misplaced and be misconstrued by your rivals and used against you. But you guys and guys tell me what you think about the whole situation. Have y'all heard anything else other than what I just heard? If so, drop it in the comment section or hit me up in Facebook DM if you don't want your name out there. Like I've gotten plenty of people in DMs, common Joes and Sally's in the know, giving me nuggets, giving me information. And with that, if you don't mind, look up underneath this video. There's a little heart. Down here it says thanks. Hit that. Click on that. Throw a few dollars in the coffers. Get us off this YouTube teat. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams. Class is now dismissed.